Okay folks, this is Tony Aguilar, and uh, we're going to do an unboxing here of the Pegasus Hobbies JSU Soviet Heavy Tank and 172nd scale set. Um, there's two vehicles that come in this set in each one of these boxes, and um, you know, a little bit of the description here, of course there's nothing on the back, and it is a removable top package which is my preference um, some assembly required and and I've put together uh, several Pegasus kits in the past and um, I tell you these actually are really good value you get two vehicles for well under twenty dollars and um, one thing that's kind of um, I would disagree with is it says 14 plus uh, I don't know that a 14-year-old will be able to put these together, and I'll get to that in a second. Now, one thing I did do differently about this is there are two vehicles. I did put one of them together last night, so you're going to be able to see what it looks like completed. And, um, yeah, let's dive in and see what we got here. It is a very minimalist type of instructions. Um the running gear here which is all one piece however you do have to put the the backs here of them and so a couple of the pieces actually did not have the right holes in them to fit in there it's a minor quibble um they almost go together pretty much um almost without glue but um you do need to be careful so that you don't install them incorrectly. Um, and here is the top portion of the instructions. It comes with, obviously it comes with two vehicles in here. We've assembled one of them, the two pieces of the, of the tracks. The turret sections with some nice handles here for the tank riders to take advantage of. And... You know, the details on this is actually pretty crisp. However, in some places, you can see where it's almost transparent here, almost like jello. Um, don't let that scare you off. It's actually a really good model. It's just very brittle, uh, the plastic. Very well detailed, but brittle. Um, here is the bottom of the hole. Running gear, nice anti-aircraft machine gun. Nice detail on there. And the hull, which almost looks like it's got kind of a, a rough finish. You can see the front of the glacis here, how, how it's rough. It's actually a nice model, but it is kind of thin in a few places. It's very, the plastic is very brittle. Um, you got to be careful that um, you give it enough room to, so it doesn't snap on you in the wrong place. But uh, it actually puts together a nice little model. And here is the finished JS2. And we put this together last night um, in a couple hours, something like that. An hour and a half. I'm not really sure. So, um, yeah, it went together pretty well. I did have to look at some um, photographs, line drawings, and stuff online uh, just to be clear on some of the locations of some of the items. Um, but by and large, it's a pretty nice model. And... Um, yeah, I look forward to putting this to painting this. You can make the option of the hatch open or closed. There's no decals included, no crew members. So that is one of the things that you have to um, compromise on when you're getting two vehicles for a pretty economical price. Uh, I got these actually for under $15 for both of them together. So it's a pretty good deal. And um, like I said, it's kind of thin. Uh, I've, I've built three or four of these kits before. And um, when I first got them, I'm like, oh, this is no good because you can see the, the plastic is kind of transparent here. But don't worry, they paint up really nice. You just have to be careful um, pulling them off here that uh, you give it some room so it doesn't snap on you. But anyhow, I uh, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.